What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Amir. Back with another video for you guys. I know you guys missed me. I know you guys miss hearing my voice, seeing my face. Um, I haven't posted on Instagram. I know you guys been going crazy without me. I know, I know, I know. I'm back though. Don't even worry about it. Um, <laughs> I really been myself. Like you guys don't even know. Like how many takes this try takes. It takes. Or how many tries it take for me? I can't even speak. Um, to do the intro because I'll be laughing all the time. But. <clears throat> As besides the point, you guys came here, um, cause you guys saw the title and the thumbnail, um, today we're going over my favorite pieces in my closet. Now, I got this video inspiration from my boy Q, shout out to him, um, honestly, th this video is purely about the clothes, I would, if my house was on fire, like, these are the clothes I'm going in and grabbing, you know what I mean, like, these are the items I'm coming back out. I'm running back into the fire for. You know what I mean? That's how much I like them. That's how much I wear them. Like these, these pieces right here. No, not saying I couldn't get new one, but like I, you know, I risk my life for these. So, you know, these are some of my grails right here. This, this is too fire. You know what I mean? This is too fire to you know let something happen. But anyway, um, with all that being said, you guys already know the drill. Hit that like and subscribe and to the video because you know I would. Why would you watch the video and not do that? You know what I mean? Like, it's free. It's literally free, bro. It costs you nothing. Just hit that button for me. Thank you. Um, one more tattoo on our subs. But yeah, that's enough of that. Let's get into the video. So, um, with the first piece, you guys already see it a little bit right here. Honestly, I'm not even a big fan of yellow, but this thing is so hard, bro. It is the CPFM Sun Seeker hoodie. Um, I've only worn it I only worn it once in a picture, but um, I love the oversized. I got a bigger size, and I didn't know it was oversized, so it's a large, and it's already big oversized. So I love like walk sleeping in it, and like I wear it a lot around the house, and like to be just be cozy. But I love it, bro. I really love it so hard. I love like the little different. You know, it looks like it's falling. The letters are off, bro. Like they were here. I think that's so crazy. And you know, I love. I already talked about this before. The thumbs, bro. I don't care what you said. These are so cool and funny. I love to put my hands in here. That's the best part of the hoodies to me. Oh, and I love the side pockets. The side pockets are so... I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. These are the two coolest features right here. Fuck the sun secret part, but... These two pieces right here, bro, make it easy. Make it so hard, bro. But yeah, nothing too crazy, you know. Just a yellow. I'm not even a big fan of yellow. I swear. I'm like, damn, that's not even like a yellow. It's more like a gold, but... Yeah, that's um, the Sun Seeker hoodie. Um, I really bang with it. I wanted the green one, but I feel like I got too much green. I wanted it, so I sent up. So I got this one. Um, honestly, I definitely see myself. I was gonna sell it just to, you know, just to make get the money back. But honestly, I'm, I, I wanted to, but this is just too hard, bro. And I know I'm gonna end up buying a new one anyway if I sell it because I'm gonna want it back. Um, but yeah, I like it a lot. I wear it all the time. Um, one of my best purchases right there. Um, anyway, moving on. Um, this piece right here, bro. I've only worn this. A lot of these things I only worn once in the picture, but um, this shirt right here is the Capital Football shirt, football jersey, bro. I think this one is so hard. Here's a picture of me wearing it right here, so you can see it on body. Um, come on, bro. You see the elbows. The elbows with the smiley face, the double eye smiley face right here. That joint is so hard, bro. I love it so much. I think that's so cool. So, you know, you can be flexing on like that. And just the way the shirt fits is so different. And it's, you know, I had my eye on this for a while. Literally, I had it. I think I bought it in December. I looked at it back in September and I was like, it was just itching me to buy. It's one of those things that it's just like, don't go way in the back of your head, bro. Um, and I think this thing is super hard, bro. It's just like a super hard piece. I don't wear it a lot. I, I mean, it is up for sale. I would sell it, but you gotta give me a good number for it. You know what I mean? I can't just let this go. So $400, $300 shirt. Sure. I mean, I'm crazy for buying it, yes, but you know, I can see myself keeping this forever, honestly. It is so hard. This, the sleeve, the elbow cuts are just insane. I love it so much. Um, you just don't see stuff like that nowadays. But, um, Anyway, yeah, that's it's not it's a pretty basic looking shirt. Got the white, red, and blue stripe, but you can just wear it a lot, and I really like that. 
excuse me. Um, yeah, um, this is from Capital. I love Capital. Capital's grown me crazy me this last year. Honestly, just because I'm just, I think my style is just changing. Like, it went from, you know, shorts in a car, shorts in every manual, shorts to, you know, I'm wearing Capital and, you know what I mean? Like, denim tears. Like, it's stuff like I would have never, I, I used to be like, yeah, and I ain't never getting that. But then, like, you know, it's crazy how, like, your style does change. Like, you start, you just start to mature, I guess. I don't know. And my style's changing right now, actually. Like, I want to go more into, like, a basic look, not so many more big graphics and stuff on my shirts and sweatshirts. I'm trying to move it on. We, um, we got the Supreme, Supreme stuff up right here. This one is so hard. It goes perfect with my new balance. I got one right here. And honestly, I just like it. Like, if it's a per perfect fit. Um, I only had to make things with this type of material, like this windbreaker type. Um, it's super thin. I honestly don't wear it that much, but I would never get rid of it. Like, I love it so much. Um, honestly, it's just, I think I'm gonna get another color of it, though. So, but, um, I just kinda like it, you know? Just, to me, like, it's just different. Like, the back, the color, I don't know. It's just something about it I just really bang with. Not sure what it is. It's just super simple. And, um, yeah, and I just love it. The way it feels on my body is probably the main reason why I love it. It's one of my favorite pieces, obviously. So if you can definitely go cop, go cop yourself one. Um, this is not really a, um, I guess it's more of an accessory because hat. The next item we got here is my um, British Studio hat, NY GG hat. I love this drone so much. You guys know I've worn this a bunch. I had it for two years. Probably the best hat I ever bought. It goes with so much, and I just love it, the earth tone color, the cream green and just these two are crazy i just like it it's just a cool hat fits good my head good um bro i was in puerto rico about two years ago and i this water i don't know what happened this water was dripping on it and i don't know if you guys can see it but it's like a stain right here and it pissed me bro i just can't get it out bro maybe you guys can see it but bro i hate i hate when i ruin stuff like this bro i'm so stupid sometimes i just let i didn't even, i didn't even realize it was sitting there dripping for like two hours bro came back and they left it nasty gross stain like i'm in like i'm sweating or something like i'm a gross ass dude bro but um anyway this is my favorite hat um i probably never ever uh, people actually offer to buy this off my head bro and i always ask me now i don't think they'll ever restock but i'll never get rid of it i love this hat in my life it goes with so much um and it's just a cool like you know you know people always think it's gucci because it's gg but it's more just like they just put it there but i never think it's hard bro honestly it's just a hard hat Shout out to Brave Studios for making this because I'll never ever ever get rid of this joint. I literally love it so much. Um, yeah, but that's just hat. Um, moving on now. Um, this is my needles flannel we got here. I, I wear this joint so much. I literally wear it so much. Actually, I wear it on my first date a few months ago. But I'm not gonna talk about that, but um, this joint is so hard, bro. Like, if I ever need a quick fit, bro, like, I'm putting this joint on easily. Like, and it's like a little cool, I'm throwing this joint on easily, bro. It's just so hard, the different colors. And what I like about it is it's green. You know, green is my favorite color. The green in the middle, bro, so hard, bro. And I like the red on the sleeve. To me, it's just too hard. And I know you got a bunch of hard flannels, but this was like my first needle flannel, and I'll never ever get rid of it, bro. See, a lot of things like it was just my first purchase of one or something like for a while i didn't know needles like two years ago or a year ago i always wanted never knew where to find you know you just keep digging and looking and finding information as you get into fashion and you just find out so when i bought it bro i was so hype literally so hype so like it's stuff like this is just like more of like a, um i don't even know the word it has this whole value because it was like my first piece you know what i mean like it's my first needle flannel I mean, people probably like, ah, that's corny, but I don't care, bro. It's my first person, so I'll never, ever get rid of it. Some of this stuff, like, it just holds sentimental value like that to me. Um, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. These, I've talked about these before. These are my favorite pants, bro. I need to get the blue pair. These are the black denim tears. Um, these ones are just so hard, bro. You guys see I wore them in my last picture. The outfit is so hard, bro. I literally love that. That's probably one of my favorite pictures I've ever taken, bro. Bro, and the thing about that, bro, I took my own pictures with that picture. Here's a little backstory. 
I didn't have the little button, clicker button, so I couldn't just take like a thousand at once. I literally had to go, set a timer, walk in front of the camera, wait the 10 seconds, try to take it, check it, take another 10 seconds. Bro, it was, I was already out there for like 40 minutes trying to get like five good pictures. It was so annoying, bro. And then like the wind was holding my tripod stands like over, so I had to wait for the wind. Bro, it was actually, it was crazy how like, you know, it, the process I went through that. And, bro, and then I posted the picture and then Instagram crashed, bro. I got no love on that picture. It was crazy. It's, the picture so hard too. I, I wanted to repost it, but look, bro, it's not that deep. But anyway, I got distracted, my fault. Um, these are the Denim Tears. Um, I love this pair. Probably wear them once a week at least. Um, honestly, I just, I don't have, this is just so hard and I need to get the blue pair. I'm gonna try to collect all of them, honestly. Cause every time I get them, I usually sell them, but I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to, um, try to grab all of them. Try to get the orange and black pair again and try to get the blue pair. Trying to get the black on black pair and the gray and white pair. Those drones are so dark. Those are harder than these. But if I can get my hands on them, bro, oh my God. I won't, I'll probably never wear another pair of pair of bro. But those ones just cost so much and it's so hard to find. Honestly, I can't, I found one gray pair and it's like a size 32. So, anyway, these are denim tears. Um, they're just so, they kind of speak for themselves. They're a super, super hard pair of pants. I was like these so many times. Like since, probably since I started YouTube channel. You guys probably know these. You probably seen me wearing them a bunch of times. I love these pants. These are from Muji Muji. I cannot be the biggest supporter of Muji Muji. I swear, bro. I need a brand deal. These pants are from Muji Muji. This is a picture of me wearing them right here. Um, I love these so much, bro. Like, I just love, I love the color of them. I like the busted knees. And, like, when I added this, bro, they made them so much harder, bro. Like, I did that myself. But it's a flare bottom, so they seal every shoe nice, bro. Like, literally, they just, the perfect. Honestly, they're the perfect pair of jeans. Bro, and they were only $60, bro. Like, so I'm telling you, bro, like, Muji Muji really got it, bro. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, go shop there. These are, I love these jeans. I probably, I'd never ever get rid of them. The problem is, bro, I hope I never got, get get too big from them. Because I'd be going to the gym and shit, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I honestly would never ever, ever let go of these. If I had to, I'd turn them into jorts before I let them go. Um, I thought about it because I really like the color and I like the look of them. And I like, and I know they'll be a nice pair, but I, I can't get another pair, bro. I love these, bro. I love these. I love, love, love these. I love these. These are like my first pair, of, like real good denim I bought like a year or two ago, and I'll never see this. I'm talking about. It's just like all these items I wear on a daily, bro. One, like at least once a week. Especially these. These are just my go-to. Like these, I'm putting these on in the summer and the winter. Like it, people know I got these, bro. I love these joints because they fall on every shoe so nice, bro. But anyway, that's enough of talking. Let's move on to the last final piece. You guys know I love these so much. I think I'm. You guys already know which shoes these are. These are, bro. If I had to pick a shoe, these are, out of all the shoes I got, bro, I put these as my most worn shoes. Bro, I swear, out of everybody who got them, I probably wear mine the most. Bro, I'm talking about three times a week, bro. So hard, bro. Like, look, you guys know I don't bang with Air Force like that, but these, when I saw these, bro, I know the most cop. Honestly, I was. I kind of got them before they kind of popped on TikTok. Now everybody gets them. And I don't really blame them because they so hard, bro. And I'm going to keep wearing them. I don't care if they're it's a TikTok shit. These joints are so You can see the dirt, bro. I'll be wearing mine. i literally be wearing mine, bro. These joints are so hard. It's not even funny. Like, shout out to CPFM, bro. Gotta be one of my favorite top three brands, bro. I just love it, bro. And honestly, this joint... A lot of people be trying to disrespect me. It's like, are these ain't on, bro. Like, these ain't one because they see air. They be like, what is this, bro? I'm like, bro, y'all don't even know, bro. Y'all don't even know. They be, they be trying to disrespect me. Like, what, what, what shoe is that? Like, nah, bro. Like, I mean, but these joints are so hard, bro. Honestly, there's a few more items I want to put in this video, but they were in the gloss, and I was just like, bro, it's not that deep. I'll make a part two if you guys want it. Um, but yeah, that was. That was my favorite items in my closet. Um, I I would definitely do a part two. I had so much stuff I like, um, but these are definitely my most worn and my favorite. Like these things, I'll never let go. But um, my camera's about to die. So with all that being said, hit, make sure you like and subscribe if you made this far. And thank you for watching. Another video coming soon.